This is a pretty typical question for a B-level exam where they're asking you to find the percent volatile solids reduction through the digester. And okay. they're giving you extra information. So it says the mixed liquor gets pumped to the anaerobic digester. The mixed liquor is 3,000 milligrams per liter, contains 80% volatile solids, and then they give you basically the same information from the digester. But when you're looking for percent volatile solids reduction, you really only need two numbers. Okay, so, so the formula for percent volatile solids reduction, and I have to write a little slow because sometimes the pen um, it doesn't keep up with my hand. <laughs> okay. Is in minus out divided by in minus in times out and then that whole thing gets times a hundred. So you see that up here we've got the in percent volatile is 80 percent. Okay, so that has to go in as a decimal so that's going to become 0.8 so if you have trouble with decimals, then a good way to think of them is just like turning dollars into cents. Uh, and then we need the out percent volatile, which was 67, so this is going to become 0.67. And the other information about the solids concentration is just red herring. We don't need it. Okay. Okay, so if we put everything in here, we get percent volatile solids reduction is 0.8 minus 0.67 there on the top and then you divide by 0.8 minus 0.8 times 0.67 do, 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 do. that whole thing is going to be times 100 but then you have to remember and do things in the right order Okay, so we always do poly makes donuts after school, or, uh -huh. or maybe you learned uh, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally, e either one. So basically it's parentheses and powers, so if there were any of those, we'd do those first, and then multiply, divide, that's supposed to be divide, thank you pen, <laughs> divide, add, and subtract. Okay, so whenever you've got a big dividing line like this one here, it's as if there were a magic parentheses around the top and a magic parentheses around the bottom. And we don't usually write them because they're understood to be there. But that bar is separating everything out. So we have a couple of parentheses that we can do things um, on the inside of. So we'll go ahead and do those first. So I end up with percent volatile solids reduction is 0.8 minus 0.67 is 0 0.13. So that's just that top piece. And then on the bottom, we're going to end up with 0.8. And then because this is inside of parentheses, we have to do that first, that 0.8 times 0.67, uh, which ends up being 0.5 something. 0.8 times 0.67 is 0.536. Okay, so we've still got the hidden parentheses down here on the bottom, so that's the next thing that we have to do. Okay, so percent volatile solids reduction ends up being 0.13 on the top, and then the bottom is 0.264. That's a four <laughs> times a hundred. Doesn't like it when you pick the pen up. So 0.13 divided by 0.264 and then times a hundred gives us a percent volatile solids reduction of 49.2 percent. And it seems weird that you start with 80% volatile and you get rid of half of it and you end up with 67% volatile. Yeah. But that is, that's what happens. And 
The reason why that happens is if you think about the digester as sort of being a, a magic box. So here's my magic box, the digester. Uh, and it's going to reduce volatile solids. So in the example up there, let's say we put 100 pounds of mixed liquor into the digester, because that's usually what would be going in there. If it's 80% volatile, then that means that, 100, that 80 of those 100 pounds is going to be mixed liquor volatile suspended solids. Okay, so if we put the 80 pounds of volatiles in and we get 50% reduction, how many pounds of volatiles are going to come out? half, right? So 40 pounds comes out the other side, so 40 pounds of volatiles. So that's that ends up being left over. Um, if you left it in there for a really, really long time, more of it would break down, but it, it pretty well tapers off. Um, there's something around uh, 15 or 20 percent of all of the bug stuff that you grow in the activated sludge process is inert material. The bugs can never break it down, and so it just goes through the digester more or less unchanged. And then we've got this other 20 pounds that we have to deal with, and this other 20 pounds is non-volatile solids. So this is sand, grit, eggshells, army men, cell phones, you know, all that good stuff. So that 20 pounds goes through the digester completely unchanged. There's no reduction at all because the bugs can't eat sand, grit, and eggshells. Right? Right. So that's my, my non-volatile junk. So I put 100 pounds in, and it was 80% volatile, right? Yep. On the downstream side, 60 pounds comes out total, because I had this 20 pounds of inert junk that went through unchanged. Right. So if you look at the calculation for a percent, a percent is the part that we're interested in divided by the whole thing times 100. So if we put the volatiles only on the top, that's 40 pounds coming out, but then the whole thing coming out is 60 pounds. And so you end up on the back end of the digester at 66.66666 whatever repeating, which is 67% volatile, which is just what happened up here. So we had this other equation where we put in 80% and we took out 67% volatile and it was a basically 49% reduction. Yep. And then down here you see the same thing. And it's a little bit off just because of rounding. Right. You no, know, 67.66 whatever repeating.